I became an entrepreneur because I wanted to be rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> How honest of you. The book that best reflects my philosophy as a founder is uh, The Infinite Game. Oh, okay. I will definitely read it, by the way. I, I love Simon Sinek. My mission in life is um, to contribute both to those close to myself and in a more broader circle as well. I'd like to change. I'm not sure I, I want to switch anything, you know, 180 degrees. Um, I like to change maybe my own ability to collaborate better with people who has different styles than me. Mm. Does it make sense? It makes sense, at yeah. least to me. I, so I I'm don't struggling want to with be. a similar yeah, It's problem. not a very bridge, <laughs> but I don't want to just well, work well with people who are very similar to me and like clones of myself. I, I want to, to get along better and be more efficient for both ways, for both sides, um, with people who are very different than me. Mm -hmm. And the last question is actually a question that I ask to all of our guests because I, somehow I believe it uh, you know, reflects the mindset of a certain type of people that we're inviting to the Recursive Podcast. Let um, me see if I'm passing yes. the test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want to be remembered for? My sparkle to make things better. Everybody, no matter if it's a convicted felon or something, everybody do the things that they want to do because they have some positive motivation. It might be in their twisted mind that it's a very terrible thing that they are doing, but at the end of the day, they want to be happy and to feel better. And uh, if you're doing something that um, where you demonstrate that you're concerned about other people's well-being and happiness, this automatically relates to them. And I think as well, uh, we all have our own internal intuition and gut feeling, and we can very well tell if somebody is lying to us. So you need to focus in your mind about how you can deliver well-being to others, no matter if it's in a business, consumer context, whatever, it's a B2B, B2C, B2G, whatever business model. Um, if you really are focused on delivering more well-being to those entities and being sincere about it, I think that people feel it and, and they have the desire and the internal desire. And we see a lot of that with Kelvin Health to help you even without any direct transactional benefits out of helping you. Tune in next week for the sixth episode of the Recursive Podcast. Irina talks to the co-founder of image recognition company MAGA and health tech startup Kelvin Health, Georgi Kudrev. And if you are just as passionate about innovation as we are, hit subscribe for the Recursive Podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. We're everywhere. <laughs>